you know, you want to lose weight badly when your ass wakes up at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. By the way, good morning, healthy buddies. How are you this morning? Are you working out at 5.30 in the morning like me? Yep. So, I'm back at it. Back in the morning routine. Um... I'm not going to talk long because I need to get this shit done so I can take a shower before my kid gets up. But I'm just going to do a fitness blender hit workout. Um, I'll link it below. So just in case you want to check out what I was, what I, guess I'd like, uh, what I've been doing or what I did this morning as a workout. There's something in my eye now. Oh gosh, this is too early. But when I was successful that one week, for that one week, uh, this is what I was doing. And my nose is running. It's too early. I am showered. Woo -woo. And oh my gosh, that workout got me all sweaty. Thank you, Daniel from Fitness Blender. Um, I'll link it below, like I said below, uh, before, <laughs> like I said before. So we're gonna be potty training. Um, and I'm a little nervous. Are you nervous about potty training? <clears throat> we'll do it again. I'm nervous. Hmm? I'm nervous. Because there's some pee everywhere. Yeah. Look at him, he's all... Look, look at the camera's like all like this. He's all like... Okay. <clears throat> he's very relaxed, I'm not. That's why I have him. What happened, happened. Yeah, but babe, what if she like pees everywhere? Then we clean it up. I mean, we only have a little bit of carpet in the whole house. So. And that's where she's gonna piss. <laughs> <laughs> She'll pee like a dog. Right on the little bit of carpet you do have. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, my library doesn't open until noon. Like, it used to open like at 9 to like 5, and now they have like crazy hours. I haven't been to the library in so long. Um, because I just was buying books from like um, Goodwill. But, you know, Goodwill still has such a small selection. So I'm going to go back to the library. But until then, let's do potty training. So right when we were supposed to, we're doing every 30 minutes, right when we were supposed to put her in the potty, she pees on the floor. I corrected her to put her, um, and put her on the potty. Of course, she peed already. Um, but she's having a fit right now. Debbie, I'm getting you something to drink. So, I am going to make her a smoothie for breakfast so she can get some spinach in. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's going. There she is. Try not to get her private parts in. Oh, that's gonna be a long day. Ooh, does that taste good? Yeah, that tastes good. And you had some soylent this morning? Did you have some soylent this morning? Are you gonna eat anything else? No. Pretty full? No. Pretty full? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so that's leaving him content. And then I'm gonna fill up my mason jar of the rest of this. And then I might have an egg or two, um, not for sure. So I was, as I was trying to pour my smoothie, she peed again. So we're doing every 30 minutes like some people are doing, but you know what? Some lady I watched on YouTube was like, nope, every 15 minutes. I think maybe my child may be similar to her. So now we're changing it from every 30 minutes to every 15 minutes. And I'm going to try to fill up this mason jar. Okay, so she's had like four or five accidents in the last two hours. So our, my daughter obviously pees a lot. We already know that from the diapers and... But the doctor said that's fine. Um, but I think that after like she pees, we've been putting her in the potty, and maybe that's I don't know if that's signaling, signaling her like that's disciplining, but it's not. So I decided to give her the slinky. See, she'll sit in the potty, and she's been sitting in the potty pretty long with the slinky. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Um, Coral's no idea what I'm doing. Oh, you okay? But. We're gonna wing it. Um, he's been very helpful. And Carl has been picking up so much piss today. 
somebody tinkled in the potty. Good job. So she gets a toy. Who else just dumps their leftover into another leftover and just eat it in the container? Why dirty a plate? Oh, yeah. By the way, if you're nursed with this turmeric rice, you don't even taste the turmeric. So that's good. And this is our library. So we're at the library, and I got her two. Carl, where are my other books at? Okay, thank you. Um, two DVDs about potty training. And then I'm going to get this to read. And then these two for her. And then I got these. The Nerdy and the Dirty. And then this. I like young... Young adults. Thanks, babe. I like young adults um, books. So that is what we're doing. And then we got a flyer for the things that our um, our library does. But let me just show you the view. This is such a pretty building. But the children's um, gets to their whole floor, and they're upstairs, and it's just it's really nice up here. So. That's so the one reason why I like this library. And we can go to the one um, down the road from us too. But this one has a really much um, bigger, nicer um, children thing. Children's um, floor. Good job, Debbie. <laughs> Enjoy your bone. We're back home and I'm in my holy t-shirt and underwear and Carl's drinking soylent. How do you like the soylent with the blue uh, berries? Do you still like it? Uh, it's okay. I like it with the strawberries better. Do you? Wait, I had to go to the dollar store and get a little strainer so he could strain out the, the seeds. Seed, yeah, they're so seedy. Yeah, my, yeah, my smoothie this morning was very seedy too. Devin liked it though. She drank all the saucers. Anyways, we went to um, the meat shop. And we got three pounds of turkey for, yeah, you're right, six dollars and twenty, no, six dollars and fifty-one cents. Good deal, good deal. At Meyer, that would be like one pound. Yeah. On sale. Okay, maybe not on sale. Yeah, no, maybe. And we just got one pound of provolone. What we're doing tonight is we're going to make sandwiches. We went to Sam's Club and got this big loaf of bread. We make sandwiches out of that. I'm I'm starving. Okay, I haven't ate since 10:30. I just ate a cheese stick, not cheese stick. String cheese. I keep on say, I always say um, uh, mozzarella stick or whatever, but that's like fried. I don't give you guys the illusion I'm eating fried food. Um, and then we got this. Is not really exciting. Um, what did we get? Oh, crispy chicken strips. Not the healthiest, but let me tell you something. Now that I'm potty training her and I need something quick, boom, boom, um, I can just cut up like two of them. One on each tortilla with tons and tons of veggies. Um, the veggies will overpower it, right? Uh, and that could be a quick one. So I've gotten this um, potty training book and I'm gonna read it. I did some research already before I potty trained. Um, but I, I don't know. Just need to research a little bit more. But we're gonna try it again tomorrow morning. Um, a new tactic. We tried to put. Thank you, baby. We gave her toys, and then she'd sit in the potty forever, just playing with the toys. And then she would get distracted, and then she would get up, and then like a minute later she'd pee. So every time she got up from things, we kept taking her back. But she would trick us because then she wouldn't pee. But then we're like, okay, maybe she doesn't really have to go pee. And then when we thought that, then she peed. So, yes. So we're going back tomorrow morning, just a clear mind, all of us. And then she thinks that it's a discipline, like we're disciplining her, putting her on the potty after she pees. So we're just gonna start back tomorrow, get a clean, um, clean plate. Is that clean plate? Clean, clean skate. No, what is that? Okay, blonde moment. Um, 
and just start back tomorrow and see if that will help her not have as much anxiety. I already know my daughter was not going to be a fast thing. She does things in her own time. Even the doctor said that. The pediatrician, actually the pediatrician said, you might just want to wait until two and a half like most parents. Um, and then it's in October. But if I just, I don't, I know she's not going to get potty training like that. That's why I'm just doing um, slow. That's why we decided um, on the way to the library, we'll just do half days for right now. Just get her used to it. And it's not a problem. So that is our take on that. But still, if you have advice, please give it. So uh, I ran to Meyer just to get a tomato. Um, so I could have some of my... I don't like tomatoes. But I do like that on my sandwiches. I like just anything I can add more um, produce to. So I'm going to be adding like spinach and stuff. But you'll see that when I make it and everything. And then I'm going to add a pickles. It's going to taste delicious. So you guys like... I have this... Um, this fear of leaving with Devin. Um, I used to take her on the bus. Um because you guys know that I can't drive because uh, of my eyesight. But I used to take her on the bus when she was up to maybe a year, maybe a little bit after that, maybe 18 months, and that's fine. But after that, she's all rambunctious, and um, and I am a, okay, let's, get this, get, let's do this, let's get this on time and stuff. And it brings anxiety to me just to just have her by myself. Like, Carl will take her out to eat by himself. And that just, like... Right then there freaks me out because I don't think I can, I want to enjoy the process and to me I just can't enjoy it. Um, so, but today's a good day and we went to the library. Even though Carl was there, um, I did have some time with her and it just, it was nice. And today's a good day so hopefully, I can, I'm seeing myself, slowly I'm doing things with her by myself. Like, um, I'll walk her to, I'll take her to the dollar store. I know that sounds really, um, really small, but that's really big for me. So I'm making a lot of progress with that. So I'm really, really proud of myself with that. And I'm getting back to reading. I tried to get back into reading um, last year. I am an avid reader. Uh, and I love it. <sighs> when I was, um, the first year of Devin being born, that's going to be hard, right? Because I was depressed, depressed, depressed. I was um, trying to breastfeed. I was just trying to take care of the kid. I was trying to keep her alive. So I couldn't get into it. So um, late last year, I was trying to get into reading again, and I just could not. I stopped going to the library for like, since Devin was born, I have been to the library, and that's insane for me. And so, um, why don't I just stop and just stay right here so you guys don't see all that windowness? Um, but my the past, the yeah, the past couple of days, my arms have felt like jelly. Uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, yes, yeah, so I haven't been to the library in so long, and then, um, so I been buying, I was buying some books from um, Goodwill. And that way I don't have this thought like, oh, I have, to, I have to bring the books back, I have to bring the books back, you know. I don't have that pressure. And so I found two, I think two books I found and I read all the way. I just haven't been able to read it again. And I think this time I'm going to be able to read now. Um, I can be in there reading and she's content. Devin, do not play with my blinds. No, they are not toys to play with. Let go. No, no. Thank you. No, we don't play with those. Anyways, um, now she she's more content being by herself, playing, and I can be in the same room, and and then I can do a little bit of, um, I guess at night a little bit. I think with nighttime reading is that I quickly get very tired. And then I don't under then I don't remember what the hell I just read the night before. So, but I used to read um, books like all day long, and I'll get done with books like so fucking fast. But anyways, so I got some books, and I'm really happy about that. So progress is being made. Look at this. Don't mind the noise in the background, but look at this massive sandwich. 
Oh my gosh. Flipping around. My, my, my house is kind of dirty. Epic. And then a cherry Pepsi. I know, I know, I know. No, I did so really well today. I, guys, I've had a good day today. Mentally, I have. So I want to cheers to this, though you should not reward yourself with food. Um, which is basically what kind of, kind of doing, I guess. Uh, so don't take my own advice, but um, I have ate since 10.30, and I'm going to eat, 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 eat. And this is all I want to have. So I'm really excited today. This is what happens when your kid has a tantrum. She just throws all her food. Yep. Isn't that just adorable? <sighs> Gotta love those two. Anyways, I cleaned my kitchen, so clean dishes. Um, I'm now gonna go into the living room and spend the last hour with Devin. I'm gonna read one of these books. Um, I Devin uh, before she um, ate dinner watched um, not this one but another potty DVD, and then I am going to read her um, one of these potty books for the night and just you know keep telling her that tomorrow we're gonna do the same thing and hopefully uh, the potty training goes better than today but she tinkled a little bit in the potty and the other times I tried um, when she was around 18 uh, 18 20 ish months um, she didn't even do that so that is freaking progress and I uh, have been drinking a lot of water. I did drink that pop today, um, but my food I think was pretty pretty decent. I have not felt bloated. Usually when I eat really, really bad, I feel extremely bloated. Did not feel that at all. Um, sorry, my, my nose is like really stuffy, and so I feel like I'm not getting enough oxygen for some reason. Um, When I realize my nose is stuffy, I kind of go through a little anxiety, but I'll get, be fine. Uh, yeah, so I had uh, a smoothie, and then at 10.30ish, I had my leftovers from last night, which was stir-fry with turmeric rice, and then that sandwich with that pop. So, was it the best? No, but I did get a lot of vegetables in today, though, with the stir-fry and the sandwich. So I'm pretty happy about that. So... If you guys like this video, just, oh yeah, before I let you go, if you guys have any um, re book recommendations, please comment below. I really prefer young adult, uh, yeah, and a little bit of mystery, but mostly young adult. If you guys know some good books, please comment below. If you have any tips on potty training, please list, comment below. <laughs> and if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a good day, good night, good morning, wherever your little souls are at. Bye, healthy buddies.